Welcome back, Fight Fans. Today's video is packed with shocking revelations and surprising moments from the world of sports and MMA. First up, we have Sean Strickland's candid admission about his mental health struggles and the startling revelation that he considers himself a danger to others. This confession has sent shockwaves through the MMA community. I woke up and I, and I told my girl, I was like, you know, babe, I feel like, I feel like I'm a danger to people. Like, I don't feel like I should be out in the world, you know? Next, we'll discuss a recent viral video that had fans in a frenzy. Footage purportedly showing Alex Pereira getting knocked out in sparring. But hold your horses. It turns out to be nothing more than a clever prank. Yet the reaction it garnered is proof of how passionate and invested MMA fans can be. Then we'll talk about Ilya Tapuria's triumphant return to Georgia following his sensational victory over Alexander Volkanovsky. The reception he received at Tbilisi International Airport was unprecedented, showcasing the immense pride and support of his fellow Georgians. <laughs> Ryan Garcia getting emotional and crying on Instagram Live today. And finally, the man is back. The hammer's back. So without further ado, let's get started. As you know, Sean Strickland is not just recognized for his skills in the octagon, but also for his unfiltered and often controversial persona. Over the past two years, Strickland has garnered a cult following for his outspokenness, which spans the spectrum from humorously candid to provocatively offensive. His willingness to share his thoughts without a filter, discussing everything from his challenging upbringing to his views on various social issues, has made him a polarizing yet compelling figure in the MMA community. Despite the bravado and the often contentious nature of his public pronouncements, Strickland's candidness reveals a deeper, more troubling struggle with mental health. The fighter himself has opened up about his inner turmoil, providing a rare glimpse into the mental battles that accompany the physical one. Yo, what up, guys? Man, all week I've been, I've been f***ed up, dude. I've been, I've been on the Twitter saying crazy shit, just, just fucking spiraling. I woke up and I, and I told my girl, I was like, you know, babe, I feel like, I feel like I'm a danger to people. Like, I don't feel like I should be out in the world, you know? And I think that, you know, I have everything. I'm, I'm rich, I'm famous, like I have everything I've ever fucking wanted, and I still mentally unwell. And I get in these like mindsets to where like, I want to burn everything down the world. Like I want to have nothing so I can just lose it and just take out everything on people, you know? And I think that like you guys, in a weird way are like my family. Like I've shared some shit with you guys and you guys have shared some shit with me that like, I feel more connected with my fans than I think most people feel. Just cause we've gone through, we've gone through a lot together. And man, you know, I have everything I want, dude. And I still struggle with mental health, you know? And my memory is so short that like, when I've gone through this week, I think to myself, like once I get past it, I think to myself, oh man, like that was a really rough time in my life. But then when I really think about it, this happens multiple times a month, every month, you know? And again, I don't even know why I'm telling you guys this. I've just been kind of going through some shit. I'm fine, I'll be fine. I'm gonna go train right now and try to hurt all my friends and all the demons will go away. I just want you guys to know that I have everything I could ever want in the world and I still struggle. So, what have you guys are going through, man? Hope you all feel better. Go to the gym, train. Fucking wish you all the best. In a candid admission on Instagram, Strickland revealed his ongoing fight with mental health issues, despite achieving fame, fortune, and the pinnacle of success in his professional career. This vulnerability stands in stark contrast to his public persona, painting a picture of a man constantly at war with himself. But what do you think about all this? Write your thoughts in the comments. After his remarkable victory over Alexander Volkanovsky at UFC 298, Ilya Topuria has become a symbol of pride and inspiration for his home country of Georgia. As he stepped foot in Tbilisi International Airport on Monday, Tapuria was met with an overwhelming reception from adoring fans, marking a historic moment for sports in Georgia. The sight of so many supporters at the airport was unprecedented, signaling the immense impact of Tapuria's triumph on the nation amidst the fervor surrounding his return. <laughs> Topuria
Zaria's next appearance is eagerly anticipated. Reports suggest that he will grace the Georgia-Luxembourg match in Tbilisi on March 21st, potentially presenting his coveted champion's belt before the game. Topuria's ascent to the pinnacle of the UFC has transcended mere sporting success, elevating him to a symbol of hope and pride for Georgians worldwide. His story serves as a reminder of the power of determination and perseverance, inspiring countless individuals to pursue their dreams relentlessly. But Georgians are confident that they will soon have a second UFC champion in the person of Marab Dvalishvili. It's agreed that for such a small country as Georgia, with a population estimated at approximately 3.5 million people, having two UFC champions is quite remarkable. As for Marab Dvalishvili, recently Paolo Costa took food that belonged to him. This is with CPI, UFC. the restaurant over there. And here is where the food for athletes uh, stay, you know. And uh, yes, so they made the food for athletes. And uh, let me see who I'm gonna get today. Let's see what we have today. Ah, right here. I, I like this. They have the right food. Here, but I definitely prefer this. This is the best one. Fuck me up. Georgian food is great, always. And uh, thank God. You don't need to leave. You are. Of all these food that UFC Performance Institute provides, Marab food is my favorite so far. It's kind of mixed Georgian and Mexican food, I think. I am hangry. I'm coming for you, Boracinha, MMA, and my bag of food, Marab answered. There was so much food for you, bro. Chill out, Costa answered. Recently, a video surfaced on social networks showing Alex Pereira being knocked out in sparring. Of course, it was a joke, but fans believed that it actually happened. Behind that shit. Oh, 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 shit. You know, like, even when you spar sometime and then you get hit, you're like, damn, this guy can hit me. Like, he hits hard. You feel it. Sometimes you go back home, like, your jaw is, like, hurting because you get clip right but you don't fall like that way what's up guys the man is back the hammer's back i never left well for a second <laughs> mark coleman addressed people from the hospital morning everybody just want to let you all know that i'm overwhelmed with the love and support i'm receiving i can't believe it i'm so grateful to be here today I am so blessed. I'm one of the luckiest men in the world. I can't thank you all enough. I'm just so grateful. I'll continue to try to motivate people to move forward and be a better version of themselves. You never know when you're going to need it. So let's go. Start today. Tomorrow's not promised. Get moving. There's stuff to do. Love you all. Sober school. Carnivore diet. Nine accessory tenants. Hammer house. For life. You're all in. Thank you. Ryan Garcia getting emotional and crying on Instagram live today. Love you guys. I hope you feel my love. I might cry. I, I might cry. But it, it, but it, it only because of the Holy Spirit. And the love that I feel right now. I don't I don't wanna cry, but I'm gonna cry. I love God so much and I just felt that in my heart. I felt I felt that in my soul. Like I've been going through a lot lately. I've been feeling a lot of hurt because I tried myself. I tried my hardest to share all the, the love that he gave me and I tried to help out the kids and I tried my best and everybody trying to break me down. You know what I mean? Like they try to break me down. They try to make me stop. You know, they try to cancel my fight. And I was just trying to, I was trying to 
I was trying to do something good, you know, and I put everything down on the lot, on the line. And, you know, they judged me hard, but I kept going. You know, I'm strong. People could say that I cried and whatnot. When they get think it's a problem, well, come see me if you really, no, I'm not even, <laughs> see, I was going to turn up. I, I don't want to turn up. I just want to show, you know, I love you guys. And I appreciate every one of you guys. And I have a, a big gift for you. I want to give you on your 50th birthday. Doing the Rolex Show. In the gravy. That's a big face, 40 millimeter. That's a 40 millimeter Rolex, yeah? That's a real deal. God bless you. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, cheers. Yeah, walk is astounding, mate. Keep going. Thank you. That's a beautiful piece. That is oyster strap as well, yeah? Got done. Going to battle with my friend Saudi. Life is good. You fuckers all need to train, dude. It makes everything so much better. So that's all for today. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, for which we will be very grateful.